Okay, so we've saved our project. We're ready to start adding in our heartbeat. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, add instrument track. Um, I'm going to select Groove Agent SE. Um, so this has been preset up for me for another project. Um, yours will probably say Hanging Sonic SE. I'm going to click add track. And then it's going to bring me up my instrument library for this section of sounds. Okay, so just quickly bring that up. Here we go. Um, I'm going to click in the little box just up towards the top. This is where we've always selected our instruments. Um, and then in your, your view will look something like this. In the search bar on this side where it's just turned yellow, I'm just going to type in GM kit. And then it's going to bring it up. This one's just a nice bog standard GM kit that I want to use. You'll see on all of these buttons now we've got different sounds okay and we're going to use those um, in our project but I'm really interested in C1 for today so I'm going to exit that we're all set up simplest way of doing a heartbeat is by drawing in a, a one bar midi box and then with my uh, mouse I can then just double click there and then we're just going to scroll down to C1 and we can just write in a very very simple there we go uh, just write in a very very simple one beat um, for the, uh, for the heartbeat. Just a word of warning, make sure that your um, settings are set up so that you can see each of the individual bars at the top. A reminder that you can zoom in or out. It's completely up to you on the view as long as you can see all of the numbers, the whole numbers there going up in sequence. Um, once you've done that, you can then press Control K and then you can copy it maybe 10 times, say for example, and it will copy it for you. However, a more authentic drum beat, uh, heartbeat uh, rather, would probably sound a little bit more like this. Um, what you do, just make sure you go back to the beginning, we're going to make sure the metronome is on. Um, we're then going to go onto open metronome setup um, and I want to make sure that I've got myself um, a, a, four, a, a counting of four beats. So I'm just going to click on this one, click during counting. I'm going to just click OK, that's absolutely fine. And then what we're going to do is just go back to the beginning and then we're going to just hit record. I'm going to find C1 as well, by the way, on my keyboard. That's my C1, it's just um, the bottom C on mine. You might need to click the octave buttons to go down or up. It's not a problem until you find that note. If you need any help from your teacher, please do ask. OK, and here we go. Do you see um, that already now looks a little bit more interesting in terms from a rhythm point of view? Um, I can double click onto it as well and once I've recorded it in <coughs> with my mouse button on I can just tidy up a little bit so that everything appears just on the nearest beat of the bar um, and then I can repeat that for a number of times. Oh, wrong one. Here we go. Uh, I can repeat my track up here a number of times and that will now create me my heartbeat.